Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin. Today we're talking about WatchOS 4 Beta. Now this is the first developer beta. By the way, obviously there's no easy way to do a screen recording of an Apple Watch, so I just kind of took the band off and threw it right in front there. So we right here we have the um, the new Siri watch face. It's supposed to it's supposed to learn your habits and such, and kind of see what you what you want before you take action on it. Um, it hasn't really done that for me yet. Obviously, I mean, I don't even read BuzzFeed. It's right at the top, and then the breathe action is below it. It's not very helpful. Hopefully, it'll get better. I assume it'll get better. I'm actually excited about the Siri watch face because I was so disappointed um, when they came out with the Apple Watch. It's, it's one of the things I really thought Android Wear was better at. Because Android Wear 1, at least Android Wear 1.0, was better at telling what you wanted to do before you took action on it because it was based on Google now. So um, hopefully this gets better. We have another new watch face, which is the Kaleidoscope watch face. All right. And um, we have, we can customize this. Well, sorry about the pen. All right. So we have the uh, calendar there. The, like these are the complications right here and those can all be changed. By the way, if we go up here, we can see that um, we have some new complications, which is now playing, news is new, and um, so we can change the um, the style of the watch here, all right, um, or the, um, yeah, I'm not really familiar with the kaleidoscope stuff, but it's supposed to change throughout the day, so... Um, these are kind of your options for kaleidoscope, which is kind of cool if uh, if that's what you're into. I've I've been just been testing out the Siri one because I think um, I think there's a lot of potential there. So my personal favorite feature, list view apps. All right, so um, you have a choice now between the grid view, which is what they're calling it, or what I like to call the clusterfuck of apps, all right? I've always hated this design. I'm so happy it's gone, or that you have the option of getting rid of it. Um, so by force touching, you have that choice. Uh, one thing that you miss out on in list view is that you can uninstall apps this way, right? Um, and I'll get rid of, what is this, is Expedia? Let's get rid of Expedia. I don't even use most of these apps. So if you go into list view, you'll find that you don't, have the ability to do that right um yeah oh you can read news on here too, on watch os 4 too while we're while we're on it there's a redesigned music app might as well go in there you can see uh kind of uh flips through your your album covers here which uh i mean it's a pretty nice design there uh, we've also got a lot of stuff in the workout app down here so if we just go down to Workout, open it up, we can see we have kind of a redesign. Um, the tiles there are bigger, and it kind of uh, flips through them again. Uh, High-intensity interval training is new. All right. Uh, pool swim, they have auto sets now. Um, also, there's like, um, they're calling it gym kit, so the stuff can hook into your, your uh, gym equipment. All right, and um, that's pretty much what's new in Workout. So... WatchOS 4 isn't as big of an update as uh, like iOS 11 or even uh, uh, Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra. Uh, but there is some cool stuff there. Personally, the one thing that I really wanted, and you'll see it's not here, is a podcast app. Because, hey, you can sync music easily. Um, I, I don't see why you can't uh, sync audio podcasts. It would just be really nice. Um, so... That's about it for now. There'll probably be more in beta 2 um, and beta 3. So this thing's coming out in September. And um, I'll uh, catch you in a couple weeks when we have more to talk about. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.